Hey y'all, it's Mommy Watson. I'm back. Thank you so much for your support of Mind Right Botanicals. Here we plant seeds to help you get your mind right, to help you put yourself on the proper path forward. So let's see who the Holy Spirit wants to use to help us get our minds right at this time with King or Queen, Zodiac or Element. Holy Spirit, do you want to use to get a message out for the collective or get a message to Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Which King, Queen of Wands, King of Pentacles. This is the second double one we got. Holy Spirit talking about couples tonight. This don't mean they up to no good or nothing. Let's just see. Let's see what comes out surrounding this Queen of Wands fire sign energy and this King of Pentacles earth sign energy. Let's see what the Holy Spirit wants us to know. Holy Spirit, we're very grateful and thankful for all of the insight, clarity, and wisdom that you've provided us with thus far, Holy Spirit. But what is the insight and guidance that you have for us at this time surrounding Queen of Wands, Fire Sign Energy, and King of Pentacles, Earth Sign Energy, Holy Spirit? What do we need to know surrounding these two energies, please and thank you? From you through me at this time. What is it that we need to know, Holy Spirit? Holy Spirit. One more shuffle, y'all. Let's do one more. Shuffle. Somebody may need to breathe deeper. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Happy birthday to any Virgo celebrating the day. Let's go. Judge. The Truman Show. Somebody has decided to stop watching you. Okay. They, kn they know that they should not be watching you. And I really feel like they're watching you on a hidden camera. It could be a King of Pentacles. He's really going to miss watching you because you have become some sort of star, okay, because of people watching you. I'm just going to keep it a beam. You could be an Aquarius, but I'm not getting that's what this means. This star energy is representing how good of an omen that you have become to people because normally when they watch people in this capacity, these people don't shine the way that you do. It's almost as if they're watching a sitcom or a reality show, but it's not scripted. It's not boring. You're just being your true authentic self. And I'm not trying to big up nobody secretly watching you on camera, okay? That is not what I'm doing here. I'm telling you how the Most High God has used this travesty and turned it around. Because these people who've been watching you, they respect you. I don't give a fuck. They don't even realize that they respect you. But they do. And one of them has decided that they're going to do the right thing. And they're going to stop that shit because they playing. And something happened. Let me tell you how why I know these people respect you now. Because something happened to these motherfuckers for sitting up watching you. Okay, and they didn't attribute, they did not attribute what they, this return to sender they experienced in their life to them playing around by watching you on hidden cameras. Okay, but that wheel got the damn spinning in their life and it got the spinning in such a way in multiple people's lives that they started realizing that you some sort of good omen to the universe and maybe they should not be doing this and whoever this king of pentacles is he's made some sort of final decision that they need to stop watching you i'm telling you now they need to pull the plug on whatever hidden camera is in your apartment your home your condo and i can't make it the fuck up i know what the hell i'm picking up on i know what i'm picking up on Okay, so somebody then grew some balls and a conscience 
out this group of people. Because I'm telling you, even though they was catching it, they still was not getting the understanding that them being nosy and watching you in your life is why they was getting fucked up now. They experienced losses that they had to heal and realign the stars in their favor about, okay? And I'm telling you, he didn't had an epiphany that that's why we've been going through what the fuck we've been going through because we sitting up watching this Queen of Wands star energy illegally, secretly, whichever one of the Ali's you want to say, but it shouldn't have been happening. And now he is hell bent on doing the right thing because this man didn't check himself. He didn't check himself now. Ain't no way. And it was even some shit like some of these people watching you. That's why they asked God started getting hit with them return to senders. Because they will watch you do certain things, quirky things that you do in the privacy of your home. And they would laugh at you and pick fun at what you was doing, which is crazy as hell. Because how the fuck are you picking fun at somebody that you are secretly watching and obsessing over in the privacy of their home? How are you picking fun at what the fuck they doing? Because you wasn't doing nothing crazy cryptic or illegal quirky is different from those three words the meaning is different okay so no they ain't have a leg to stand on then gonna be trying to laugh and pick at somebody child boo that 5d connection can get out of control if you let it some of these people started feeling like they was having a spiritual tie of some kind with you because of how they were witnessing you in your element. They felt like they was like connecting with you on a partner type vibe. I'm telling you, police child, uh-uh. Clarify this, Holy Spirit. They jealous, but you blessed. Throw rocks, hide their hand, and cry wolf. Somebody may have went to the authorities and told them that you felt like you was being recorded. And they thought you was downplaying. They thought that you was just tripping, jealous, and envious of someone and trying to cause problems. You may have specifically called another out, even. And they thought you was bullshitting. That you just really was jealous and envious of whoever you were accusing because you had to be more resourceful. You had to get it out of the mud. I'm telling you now. So after you've done all you can, do, you, can you just stand. And that's what you did. And I'm telling you, God been turning it around for you. He's been divinely orchestrating this King of Pentacles judge energy to cut the plug on this form of revenge porn. Okay? Because you better know they got you in some compromising positions if you just been in your house living your life. Okay? I just heard that I challenge all single abstinent celibate women to refrain from masturbation till the end of this year and watch how your life change. Listen to me now. If you feel like this applies to you and you are single, you ain't had no, this applies to somebody who is single, who ain't had no man in their bed, but they have decided to take care of their own intimate needs, however you choose to do that. But I challenge you, because that's on tape, okay? So I'm just telling you what I'm hearing. I challenge you 
to not pleasure yourself in any way that requires sexual intimacy till the end of the year and watch your life change now. As soon as you get that urge, go focus on something that you need to complete. Go fold up some clothes. Go wash some dishes. Go read a book. Go watch a sitcom. Go listen to some music and dance around. Dance that energy out of you. Put it, push it through another passion or hobby. You know, go make some beats, whatever it is you do. Go make some content. Not the content for these people to be watching on hidden camera. Y'all stop that. I'm telling you, if you feel like you've been on a hidden camera, you need to check yourself too. Don't give them nothing to look at. I know I used to be like, put on a show. Da -da -da -da. Okay, now nah, fuck that. You need to become boring. And not boring where you ain't living and enjoying your life. 11-11. But boring where you're not doing anything that's going to cause some sort of sensationalism around your name. Sexualized sensationalism. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. Wow. What else? Baby, love yourself. Because, see, you have been, you probably feel like you've been loving on yourself by just taking care of your own sexual desires and not having intercourse with whoever, whatever, remaining abstinent and celibate. But love yourself enough to discipline yourself. I mentioned this in a video months and months ago on my other platform where when you when a man ejaculates it's like one sperm has the power of like a thousand drops of blood something crazy and you know how many thousands of sperm they can that can be shot off at one top time can you imagine that that's what creates the life it is just it's like when you start breaking shit down and you understand how truly Put well put together, intricately put together. You are how special you are, how the most high God really took his time with you. You will love yourself more. Enough to discipline yourself from th things that serve a low vibrational purpose. Once you know they serve in a low vibra vibrational purpose in your life, because they don't want you to hear this child. This is a game changer what I'm telling y'all right now. I hope everybody is with me. Once you realize that something you are doing is serving a low vibrational aspect or purpose or situation in your life, you have to love yourself enough to discipline yourself from it. Discipline yourself from that masturbation. Make a contract with yourself to possibly just go and exercise or eat something healthy, something better for yourself instead of doing what we just was talking about and watch how your life change okay anything else we need to know here holy spirit we're gonna get some terror on this that insurance agent helped them commit fraud on you hmm clarify this please and thank you holy spirit because i just heard something like in order for them to get past some sort of some clearance, something, something they had to, they had to make it seem like you was okay with something. It's something weird that I'm getting. Cause like everybody that's watching you, some of these people think that you kind of know you were being recorded and you kind of with it. You just ignoring the cameras and living your life. Some of these people think that. It's some sort of loophole that this insurance agent helped them get over in order to do this to you. High priest. Then hit the motherfucking table. 
So I don't know what this is that they had to, whatever this was that, that they helped them get clearance on, they gave, they helped them get whatever policy, whatever they needed, backing they needed to be able to do what they're doing to you. I don't know how to explain it, but that's what I'm hearing, okay? In order for them to keep doing what they're doing, they was able, They this insurance agent helped them do that, okay? Anything else, but see, that's why you shouldn't do that because some of these people asked them down, fell in love with you. Some of these people are really obsessed with you. They ain't never going to forget you. They never going to forget what they have seen. And because of how this King of Pentacles is going to shut down, the surveillance of you, somebody is now like, well, I thought you said she was cool with this. Or I thought, like they showed that I'm telling you, either they signed your name saying you was okay with something, something like that now. And that's coming out because he's now pulling the plug and they like, well, did she say she didn't want this to happen? And it's also something like the police know that you wasn't lying. Somebody may have followed up your complaint, even though they they pushed it to you like they didn't believe you or they wasn't fucking with you about it. They might have went and looked into what you said. And they it's all this stuff is coming full circle at the same time because this is how divine orchestration can work. It's something like right around this time of this King of Pentacles wanting to pull the plug, the police then checked into what you said, then popos, and it's some validity to what you said. Because your spirituality is organic. And you ain't deserving. And things happen to us that we aren't deserving of all the time. That, that's just how the world can go. But when the universe sees that is some real deal bullshit, unnecessary, unpurposeful, unwarranted crap happening against someone that they feel is divine and is it doing the right thing. That ain't going to go, but for so long. Okay. An unexpected change is going to occur. You know, they can say what they want to say. But, you know, you can you can claim to have all the free will you want to. But when the, the trumpet is sounded, that's the final word on that thing. And I'm telling you, the trumpet has been sounded on these people watching you secretly. Okay. What else, please? And thank you, Holy Spirit, from you through me at this time. It's something like some of these people watching you because they thought you was with this shit have tried to reach out to you or have wanted to reach out to you through this King of Pentacles. But he's he claimed that you wasn't available or he was going to pass on the messages. I'm telling you something like that here, but he ain't never say nothing to you because he knows that you don't know what's going on. What else, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Like, some people do get paid to do shit like this, y'all, okay? Y'all got to know that shit. And it's about to be 19, 19 on the clock. Some people do that, though, for real. And for some reason, it's people... Oh, I know the reason, because he, he wasn't going to be able to get the traction he got if it wasn't... A, if he didn't lie and say that you helped... Or agreed for that to be available. I'm telling you. Four of Pentacles. He knew he was going to be restricted. That he was going to be blocked even. If he didn't somehow put up this front. That you were in agree agreement with. The surveillance in your home. But you don't know nothing about it. And it's a few people now. Who know that you. Were telling the truth. 
and you don't know nothing about Herman in reverse. This King of Pentacles, his ass is in reverse. He could be a Virgo. This man is starting to be paranoid about what he's been doing with you. With your life. He realizes that this is this was an immature act of foolishness. And he is sad. He worried. And the Holy Spirit say that's the truth. Because I'm telling you, a lot of people got mental clarity that he lied about your willing involvement in this. Devil, right behind that, with the moon. That's the energy that he been in. And people are finding that out. Now, it's something like there are a few people like this high priest insurance agent energy who knew that he was scheming. That's why they helped him get away with it or attempt to get away with it rather. But it's it's a good bit of people who didn't know. I'm telling you now that you didn't know you were being recorded. You didn't know. You didn't know. And they very disappointed because some people ain't with that shit unless the person they watching is with it. They can get kinky and fetishy all down as much as they want to. But they ain't with no sh doing none of that shit if the person and other person involved ain't with it too. They ain't in a secretly forcing nobody. None of that, that other shit. Okay? See? He misrepresented the truth about you in order to have, get his way to get money. Because he done made a Ten of Pentacles off of you, but now he got other problems that he got to deal with. Because whatever this high priest insurance agent did, they asked in trouble for it. They asked and got caught up for it. And that may be very well why the police thought that you was throwing rocks and hiding your hand because it, it might have already been some energy out there like you was with some bullshit like this. I'm telling you, this high priestess, five of swords, this high priest energy helped this Herman in reverse make it seem as if you were okay with being on the dark web now. And you didn't know nothing about it. And people are angry about that. You did not ex accept no offer like that. You are naive to the situation. And I'm telling you, you have had moments where your intuition told you somebody was watching you. Okay? You, you didn't pick that shit up. And people thought you were being irrational, that you were daydreaming even. You may have doubted your intuition with this page of cups in reverse because people thought that you were throwing your rocks, hiding, hand, hiding your hand and crying wolf. When in reality, you were right on the money. Hierophant, you da damn right you was right on the money. You had the spiritual wisdom and knowledge that has conformed a lot of people about this situation. Because some of them know you're telling the truth. Some of them have come to their own hierophant conclusions about the lack of morality, the lack of morals they possess. And some of them are getting the truth and knowledge about the fact that you didn't even know what was going on, child. Mm. Wow. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Anything else? Page of Swords. And then watching you. I feel like some of these people started realizing that you weren't putting on no front because you have done something or said something that has let them know that you do not know that you're being recorded. Now, I'm telling you, 
that you wasn't acting. Maybe at one point they thought you were just putting on a show now. But somebody decided to dig a little deeper with this page of swords, get some sort of thirst for knowledge about the situation. And they didn't discover it now with this Wheel of Fortune. But child, I'm having to put on my glasses for this one, child. They have discovered with this Wheel of Fortune that this Herman in Reverse was getting a Nine of Cups contentment a nine of cups level of prosperity out of being able to secretly record you without your knowledge. They know you don't know. A light has been shined out on the fact that you were telling the truth. When you came to this conglomerate, this collective of folks, and you said, hey, somebody is recording me in my home. Now, it's also something like, again, you said some out loud in your home where people heard you and they knew that you couldn't know what was going on because of what you said and did, damn it, nah. And his ass is done for because it's at least about six people, three of pinnacles, three of cups that were watching you that are ready to release and pause their actions against you okay because they having a, a different perspective about things and they having a new perspective about this king of pentacles as well his ass finna get sacrificed for what he done did to you because some of these people don't like that shit i'm telling you it's like six people out here who know that this man was doing this shit against you and you didn't know nothing about it. And that includes the three of pentacles that you went to to report what you thought was going on. They hold you at a very high regard, a very motherly, protective, stable, grounded individual who's down to earth. I'm telling you, whatever you be doing, they like that shit. They like watching you. Because they see you a real solid individual. And they about to pass judgment on him. In this opportunity, what he felt like was an opportunity. And this man is trying to hurry up and make a decision about what to do. Because he's scared. And this may very well be somebody that you was dating at one point because you and this man came out as each other's match. King and Queen of Pentacles, but the hangman was between the two of y'all. So you could have sacrificed this partnership with him or vice versa. And this is why he did that. But this man already had a camera in your house before y'all broke up. Clarify, we gonna close. Clarify, please, and thank you, Holy Spirit. Please and thank you, Temperance. He was already doing this. He was already moderating his life in this way. He was worried for a while there too about you finding out, but you didn't you didn't figure it out. Seven of Cups. Because it's been going on for a while. Here. Mm, mm, mm. About five months. I'm hearing five months. Seven minus two is five. I'm hearing five months. And now he like this, child. Now he like this, child. Look. He's so ready to end it and turn his back and give up on this bright idea he had to do this to you. But he not getting away that damn easy because justice going to be served and the tower is coming. Okay? Be glad that you did report your concerns when you did. 
Because even though they didn't, like I said before, even though they didn't let you know or think that they took you seriously, somebody looked into what you said and they know you ain't lying. They didn't even win. It, that's, it's something about this high priest. It's how, how the cookie started crumbling for real. This high priest insurance agent. His name on some paperwork somewhere about you. And they went to him. And that's where all the illusions started floating away. That's when all this include. Um, I was about to say inclusion. I'm telling you, these people lied about inc that, including you. Like they, they lied and said that you knew what was being done, that you had been included in it, that you knew you were the choice. This could be a King of Pentacles, King of Cups, because he did come out as this death and this tower energy too. That's a shame, child. And that's why some of these men, it could have been a King of Cups in particular though, who was one of these men who was trying to sneak and have a connection with you outside of sneaking and watching you. And that's how they found out that you didn't even know what the hell was going on. Mm, mm, mm. I feel like I can keep going, but I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop right there. I hope this message helps someone. I hope it gave you insight and guidance the insight and guidance that you are looking for but always remember if it doesn't apply please let it fly take only what resonates leave the rest and i'll be back soon with another one peace